All right, we continue to wander Wisconsin, giving you a close look at all of what our state has to offer. Yeah, this morning we are spotlighting a small village in the 608. Josh Breider here now with more on Cassville. Hi, Josh. Hey, guys. Good morning to the both of you. This was a really, really fun story, and we're going to start off with a live look at the Mississippi River. Doesn't this just look fantastic as we kick off this Friday morning? Cassville is one of the oldest villages in the state. Established in 1827, it's been named one of the seven most charming river towns in Wisconsin. So photojournalist Mark Schilling and I took a road trip to check it out. At the solid ground Cassville Cafe. Our parents lived here for 20 years. You'll find sisters Penny and Patty. Who's the evil twin? <laughs> Yes, identical twin sisters. They took over the cafe in March, located right on the main drag as you head through town. It's where their mom spent a number of years cooking and baking. 15, 20 years ago, she and a group of ladies uh, decided to all put money in to start a cafe. So they just couldn't miss the opportunity, even bringing back some of her favorite recipes for the customers. But that's just part of why they are proud to call Cassville home. I fell in love with the river and the state park and the people that are here. Penny and Patty's favorite way to get around town by UTV. Hit it, Penny. And they're not the only ones cruising around town by UTV. We saw a number of folks doing the exact same thing. I have the river outside my window, my kitchen window, and I have the bluffs outside my, my living room window. And you can't beat that scenery. Standing on the east bank of the Mississippi River, Cassville brings a quaint small town feel along with all the amenities and adventures. <laughs> has seen a lot of change over the last decade after the closing of the power plants put many of the locals out of work. But now, Penny and Patty say this is the place to be once again. And if you just want to get away and immerse yourself in nature, that's what you do here. The village is rich in history, including the home site of Wisconsin's first governor, Nelson Dewey, where you'll find crews restoring and updating today. Just up the road from there, Nelson Dewey State Park, bringing us some of the best views of the area. I'm told it's also great for year-round eagle watching. And of course, you can't miss the fun over at Riverside Park with the Cassville Car Ferry connecting folks from Iowa to Wisconsin. Right now, it still costs money to use, something the village hopes to one day go away from and draw more tourists to the area. Another new development, this path along the riverfront, something the village has been hard at work on over the years. You can't beat it, really, you can't. And it has everything that you need. So even if it's just a day trip to Grant County, I definitely call Cassville a must stop. We're not we're real weird though. We're not weird. <laughs> just be sure to pop in and say hello to the twins at the cafe, and I promise you'll leave with a smile. Cassville is about an hour and a half southwest of Madison, but well worth the drive. It was one of the more scenic routes I've been on. And the Solid Ground Cassville Cafe is open five days a week for breakfast and lunch, closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. To learn more, just go to the story at channel3000.com. I highly recommend the stuffed French toast. That's what they're kind of known for. But we had a couple of different things, Mark and I, as we visited. So you got to check them out. Such, they said they're not weird. They're not weird. They're a lot of fun. <laughs> they're so much fun. That's why I recommend you got to stop and say hello to them. I think that's says something about a town like that when the cafe is that hopping. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah. And it's one of those places, too, where everyone goes there for breakfast and lunch, and then you kind of move around town to a couple of the other establishments there. They've got an ice cream shop. I mean, you name it. This is a place to be, and I think it's one of those things that you could take a day trip there with the family. It was an hour and a half, a beautiful drive through Leah's Neck of the Woods down there, Grant County. God's country, they call it. It really <laughs> is. It really is. So highly recommended. This has been so much fun doing this Wandering Wisconsin series, too. It's been fun to watch. Yes. Thanks, Josh. You bet. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email for a chance to be featured.